What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Vintage Cube, as you know. You know how we do. You know all about it. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? It's probably gonna be a tinker here. Tinker's just where you want to be. All right, still no dropped frames, so I feel like we did solve the problem. Unless, of course, we're not even live because it says zero viewers, even though we've been live for a minute and 12 seconds. So I have no idea. If anyone's out there, can you tell me? I'm going to take this Tinker. Okay, thank God. Oh, goodness. I was getting real concerned. Okay, now we're up to, now we're up to a relatively reasonable number of viewers. Oh my god, I was getting... I was real panicky. When I see you smile... Tinker into Tularean Academy, huh? Hmm. Well. When they give it to you, they give it to you. That's an easy choice. If Muldrifter comes back, I'll be grateful. I like a miscalc. Oh, through the breach. Oh, can we try to Unforgiven here? I mean, I'm not going to go crazy with the uh, the Sneak Through the Breach deck. I, Unforgiven had a Through the Breach stipulation with a uh, Sneak Attack and Through the Breach. We tried to do it once when we got a Sneak Attack, but we got no creatures to actually sneak. But, well, here's an Ulamog. Is that good enough? I think, it's, I think it works for both in the sense that, like, you're going to make a lot of mana, so you just take the Ulamog. And milling for 20 is actually not terrible. I'm going to take the Ulamog here. I don't love this Emrakul. Because we're not casting it with either of these. I'm just going to take, take Fire Ice. I think Fire Ice is a bit more versatile. Versatile. Thieving Skydiver, I probably like better than Jace. I think stealing their artifact when you have Talarian Academy and Tinker is probably better. Nothing great in here. I mean, we could just take Revoker because it's a tinkered creature. I don't think we're turnabouting. Could also just take Wasteland. Could take Imperial Recruiter. It gets Thieving Skydiver. Yeah, I'll take Recruiter. For some reason, I got real excited thinking this was the Gilded Lotus coming back, but it is a different Lotus. Uh, Stone Cold Serpent is great with Tinker. Yeah, it's like Serpent. I mean, you can you can literally just play this guy on two and then Tinker on turn three. Oh, good, the frames are dropping again. Clearly, was not a. Oh boy, love it. Um, I think Chain Lightning's fine. Misha's Workshop, also a creature you can tinker. So not terrible. Misha's Factory, rather. Misha's Workshop is a, a totally different thing. I think it's still Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning just seems a little better. 
Uh, I'll take a Nahiri. Especially for Through the Breaching. Oh, what up, Sammy? That is not the correct step. Um, we're actually trying to do your step again with Through the Breach. So we'll see. <sighs> hmm. I'll take a Condemn. Torrential Gear Hulk. You're an artifact. Okay. I'll take a Torrential Gear Hulk. That could end up being great. Vintage Q is on? Yeah, it's online for another like, week and a half. Mm, Lava Claw, sure. So, 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 Soul Ring! Oh, Soul Ring and a Treachery? Yeah, we're definitely taking Soaring. I would love Ulamog, Steam Vents, or Treachery here, but... Can't really pass a Soul Ring. Metalworker. Okay, so we're not a Metalworker deck yet. We want to be. That's where we want to end up at. Unforgiven, no problem, buddy. I mean, we, we got a... A pretty early through the breach, so... Well, I don't love Winter Orb. I do love Leovold and Fallen Shinobi. Don't think Marsh Flats is where we want to be. Thirst for Knowledge seems great. Unforgiven. Appreciate the bits, buddy. Thank you, my dude. Let's take a thirst. Getting thirsty. So, it could be Karn here. I think Overflowing Chalice is fine, but I think Karn is just a, a much stronger card that we can easily take advantage of with our with our potential mana rampage. Oh, there's the Blight Steel. Okay, now we have a payoff for both through the breach and uh, Tinky. Oh yeah, that's great. Wow. Scrubland, man, we're seeing great lands, just not in our colors. Let's take a Factor Fiction. There are no artifacts here. You're also a 2-drop. I don't know why you always go in the 4-drop. No one's ever paying 4 mana for you. So I don't hate Pestermite here. We could definitely audible to a Pestermite deck as well. If we see a Kiki Jiki or a Splinter Twin. Is that better than just Ancestral Vision? Maybe. Uh, I think Factor Fiction is significantly better than just having a, a random Sphinx that we can't cast. Especially when we already have Blight Steel. I think Pestermite's probably better. Yeah, we'll take a Pestermite. Preordain. Also, Batter Skull. Let's take the preordain. I don't think we're batter sculling. I also don't think we're, oh the steam vents came back. Wow, that's amazing. I also don't think we're um gonna grab Bolus's citadel either. So I'll take faithless looting. Spellseeker seems good. 
Especially if we just open an ancestral next pack. We have a lot of a lot of three drops. Spellseeker cannot get Fire and Ice. No, Fire and Ice costs, has, a, has a CMC of four. Mm, yeah, none of these cards are any, any, any kind of exciting. Oh boy, we're just getting trash for the last picks. Okay, well, we still have 18 playables here, so I'm pretty okay with that. We don't need that many in the next pack. Steam Vents and Academy are nice. We do need more artifacts. Hmm. Zealous Conscripts is sweet. So is Galenalendra. Hmm. Can you lower your mic? Wait, what is what are you what are you asking me right now? We need more artifacts that are cheap that we can tinker into and we can take advantage of Talarian Academy. I don't think walking ballista and warm coil engine actually do that. I actually think it's Ellis Conscripts here. I mean it's another card that we can splinter twin and kill them with. Here's a sneak attack. Okay, we have sneak attack and through the breach now. Now we just need like one more Eldrazi to really to really get it done here. Hmm. Yeah, I mean I think it's just Hellkite here. It might be Brawl. Actually Brawl might be better. We don't have a ton of two drops, so I'm just gonna take the Brawl here. I don't hate commit to memory. In fact, I've actually been enjoying Commit to Memory. I'm going to take the Metalworker out. I don't think we're a Metalworker deck anymore. I, I don't think we're a Lodestone Goleming either. I'm going to take the Commit to Memory. This is a situation where we don't get a single fat creature after this. And eh, we're just going to take Riftwing Cloudscape. Mirror Battle Sphere. Actually, that's pretty good. That's a nice pickup. It's not an Eldrazi, but it's still something to tinker into, and it's something to, uh, I guess, sneak out. I would love one El Inquil Leviathan. Okay. Now we're feeling a little better about things. Okie dokie. You're also a 9 drop, so you can go probably here. I mean, we can also take Pestermite out if that doesn't pan out. We can take him Imperial Recruiter out for sure, but he does get Stone Call Serpent. And Brawl and Thieving Skydiver and Spellseeker. So we can just chain our three mana 1-1s one -ones together. I don't like Top. I think I'm just going to take Impulse here. Because I do like Impulse. Expansion Explosion, sure. Hmm. Cold 
Kolagon's command is nice. Don't have a realistic way of playing it, though. Yeah, we don't have a ton of things to sack to, to, sack to Tinker. That's correct, but... Thank you! Chad! Jeez, when I started subbing, Russia had just invaded the Ukraine and Winter Soldier had just been released. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty funny. Oh, that's amazing. See, this is what happens. Not a single Eldrazi. So we have a bunch of good Tinker targets, like Inkwell Leviathan and Mirror Battlesphere and Blightsteel, but we don't have a bunch of great Through the Breach sneak attack targets, just like Ulamog. I guess this makes 4 4s, but I don't know. It's kind of meh. I'm going to take out Imperial Recruiter and Pestermite. I'm going to bring in the Metalworker because we still have a bunch of expensive artifacts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's not great, but it, it's something. We'll also bring an Academy because when you Academy with Mirror Battlesphere, it's pretty good. And it's it, at worst, it's usually going to be a, an island. This is 25. Still need some cuts. How good is Torrential Girl? We got Impulse. Factor Fiction, Through the Breach. <laughs> yes, we, we have a Shieldered, but she is not in here. Oh, man. Um, so we have no way to fix white. We have a Lava Claw Reaches for black. Two cuts. I feel like we're young pyromancering. One, two, Thank three, you. four, five, six, seven, eight. Also, you're nine. Jimmy, welcome back. Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. Tinker doesn't look great, but I mean, I think we have to take out a bunch of other cards if we also take out the Tinker, so... I think Tinker is still fine. Like, again, you don't have to play it on turn three. I don't know why everybody thinks, like... Everybody sees cards like this, and they're like, you gotta play it on turn three. Like, it, you don't. I mean, like... If late in the game I play Mirror Battlesphere and I get to sacrifice one of the tokens to get an Inkwell Leviathan into play or a Blightsteel into play, like, it's still very fine. It's still basically a late tutor that lets you get a 9 or 11 drop into play. Shut up and take 12 my money! Drop. Neon Tokyo's stimulus check five dot five plus five for each large adult dependent. <laughs> am I am I one of your adult dependents? Yeah, we could also get Soul Ring Tinker and we're just fine. So I mean like it's not it's obviously not ideal in the deck, but I mean like to say it's not great here is is still just kind of funny. Um Right, and you can also steal one of their things with doing Skydiver to sacrifice. Like it's we definitely have options. Oh, Mutual Barnabas. I gotcha. I gotcha. Your favorite and mine. We could also just play Rebel Master as a guy. I don't think I I don't think I love it though. Um Maybe cut the young Pyromancer? So all of these are great because they're good for Metalworker. Also, if you have like two artifacts in your hand when you play Metalworker, like you're just playing a Karn or like a Mirror Battlesphere. Good lord, there's so many big things. I have to keep moving things because whenever I adjust them, they. Yep, you're over here. All right. Um.
Uh, I don't like Burning of Zinni at all in this deck now. Not even a little bit. Uh, we don't have nearly enough artifact mana to make a Burning of Zinni work. It also kills most of our creatures, unless we have a Torrential Gear Hulko. Yeah, all right, let's cut Pyromancer, and we'll also cut... Actually, I might like Pyromancer better than Brawl. Yeah, I like Pyromancer better than Brawl, actually. I'm definitely not cutting Karn. Uh, uh, Ulmog is one of the few decent through the breach targets that we have. I don't think Inkwell Leviathan is great for that. And Mirror Battle Scale isn't great for that, so I definitely want to. I, I don't want to cut that, because obviously we have through the breach and sneak attack, so. Okay, just went 41. 10 and 4. We don't have any double red, which is nice. I kind of like that. Yeah, this seems fine. 41 with 17 lands and a soaring. Sure, let's do that. <laughs> Appreciate the 41 support. You guys are fantastic. Yeah, I have to call Comcast after this because the number of frames I'm fucking dropping is absolutely unbelievable. And my upload speeds are actually horrendous. We switched over to their gateway, to their wireless gateway. And uh, it's just been actually working terribly. Like, I never used to drop this many frames when I was using my own modem and router. And my upload speeds were significantly higher. And now all of a sudden using their gateway, um, it's, just <laughs> it's just fucking horrendous. Like, we're just dropping frames nonstop. Yeah, modem router combos are, are pretty pretty trash, and I, I usually avoid them. But it's five dollars less to get uh, no data ca no data cap if you if you use their modem and router. So I was just like, sure, why not? I, I was like, I'm sure it's technologically sound because it's a it's you know it's an advanced piece of technology. But yeah, as long as you guys aren't minding, like I'm, it's I don't know. Yeah, so like if you if you get uh, no data cap, it's an extra thirty dollars a month. If you get no data cap with their modem and router, it's an extra twenty five a month instead. So you save five dollars. But like my upload speeds are five five megabytes. And I'm just like, uh what? You know what? I'll keep this. <clears throat> I'm going to keep both of these because we can go turn two Riftwing into Impulse for an Artifact. So I'll put you on top. That actually seems pretty decent. I agree. Five, <laughs> five MBs. Yep, we are still dropping frames. We're at 6.3 now. So 6.3% is what I mean by that. Could also just naturally draw Soaring into Tinker. I think at that point we get uh, Inkwell Leviathan. I think it's a more resilient clock then. Do you have Fiber there? No, I haven't had Fiber anywhere I've ever lived. I didn't have Fiber in Clearwater. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. I didn't have Fiber in Clearwater. I didn't have Fiber in Seattle. I didn't have Fiber in Utah. And I don't have Fiber in Denver, so...
Okay, well, my, my, when I say Seattle, I mean Kent, which is where I lived, which was a suburb of Seattle. So, like, I mean, obviously, you know, uh, and, uh, and, uh, like, fiber is not in every area, right? So, if you say fiber in Seattle, it doesn't mean every single area. Like, you could literally travel two blocks down the street and not have fiber because of how, because of how that's situated. You gonna kill this guy? Huh. Well, okay. I mean, I think it's got to be sneak attack. I, I don't think it's... that's That was... I mean, I'm glad I didn't draw all of those, but... <clears throat> yeah, like in Florida, there were definitely situations where, like, if I lived, you know, a mile west, I could get fiber, but because of where I was, I fiber wasn't available, so, like... It's just really kind of obnoxious that I've always happened to be in, like, places that don't have it. I see. Hmm. I don't know what's going on. pretty good oh wow so if we draw if we just top deck uh oh actually this is pretty good because we can just bounce their giver of runes we need a second red it's out to to actually yeah you got it no one cares nobody cares Man, taking that tinker was great. <clears throat> I mean, they know we still have Talarian Academy, so. we Blight still wouldn't have worked. We need two red, so it doesn't really do anything. I mean, Blight Steel next turn would be great, but Blight Steel that turn is not anything. Uh, it's not everywhere because uh, the United States' infrastructure is actual hot garbage. And uh, they don't really put a lot of money uh, into it. It's also monopolized by several large companies that you literally have to choose from. And it's really at their own discretion that they can increase or not increase. Cool. You know how to take the money. You just don't know how to invest the money. So that was a good game where we had uh, Through the Breach and Sneak Attack, but nothing to put into play with it, even though we have several targets. One, two, three, four, five. I consider Gear Hulk a target because with Through the Breach, you can just literally go Through the Breach, Gear Hulk, target Through the Breach, <laughs> Through the Breach, something else. So that's, that's kind of sweet. Why not play looting? Because I, I don't like it. And I think all of our other card advantage, Preordain, Impulse, Thirst for Knowledge, Factor Fiction, I think these are all better. And Faithless Looting is, uh, in my opinion, uh, kind of trash. I 
I mean, we're definitely not at a lack of, of filtering and card drawing cards, so. It's better for putting things... Yeah, like, if I had a reanimate deck, I'd probably play it, but, you know, with Tinker and Through the Breach and Sneak Attack, we don't really need it. Sure. This Talarian Academy is looking rough, but... Yeah, let's kill that. I mean, it's a card that's banned in modern. I have no idea what that has to do with anything. I literally gave you my, I gave you my defenses and my justification for not playing it, and they're all sound. So like, that's super weird. It's like if I had a Porsche outside in my front yard, but it had all four flat tires, and you're like, how come you're not driving the Porsche to the store? And I'm like, well, because it's got four flat tires. And you're like, but it's a Porsche. And I'm like, doesn't change what I said. Like, <laughs> it doesn't make my argument worse. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we're definitely gonna factor fiction here. And then hopefully they'll tap out, we'll kill them with sneak attack into into blight steel, obviously. Sure. <laughs> Sounds good. It's also banned in modern for like very specific reasons. Like hollow hollow one is a real thing, right? Like it's banned in modern because there are cards in the format that you can put in any number of in your deck, like hollow one, and make a better deck. It's not just banned in a vacuum. It's not like every red deck is playing four faithless lootings. The decks that use it are, are very good and they're specifically benefiting from it. But like you can't it's not like you can take advantage of that in, in Vintage Cube. You're not like, oh man, I'm gonna pull these discard cards in my in my vintage cube deck. I think it just doesn't mean anything. What is happening right now? <laughs> this is very interesting. Shut up and take my money. Uh, if we conscripts their Jitte, they're going to 100% remove the counters. Banned in a format step or draft at least one card step. Pick your choice. <laughs> we can take some banned cards. Oh man, hold on. That's pretty hilarious. Or or just pick a card. You know, it's up to you. You do whatever you want to do. I think we've tried to do the banned one before, and it's actually really, really hard to figure out what cards were banned when. Because there's so many cards banned in the history of Magic that, like, sometimes you just actually don't remember. You didn't say bug. Well, because it was, it was 30, now it wasn't one buck. So I was like, well, that doesn't even make any sense. 
Uh, okay, this is your this is your final answer. Can you imagine if I had Pyroclasm Shut in my deck? I could just go Spellseeker and Pyroclasm. Vintage, only take cards legal. <laughs> okay, you know, I think I can handle that one. I think I can handle that one. Uh, oh, God. I think we're just taking this pile, to be honest with you. I feel like they do more things. Don't love it. Don't love it. Um, okay. Recent standards will help the band card. No, it won't, though, because that just means there's, like... No, the problem is that, like, you don't remember, like... Palancron. Was Palancron ever banned because it nets you seven mana? I don't know. I don't think so. But, like, the point is there's so many obscure cards that were banned in their respective formats back in the day that it's really hard to remember what was or wasn't banned. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? What up, Music Manly? You know, I think we're dead here. I think this is another sneak attack deck that didn't come together, man. It's really hard. But whatever. We're doing it for the people. The only thing we could do here is Spellseeker, right? Like, we could actually play Sneak Attack, flash in Torrential Gear Hulk to, to Factor Fiction. Only take cards that are not legal in non-vintage sets. Uh, what? <laughs> Dude, if I had a Pyroclasm here, they would have, like, one spirit token. But we don't. So I think we're actually dead. What is this? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We Shut go to, up and take we go to two if they don't have a removal spell. We die if they do. Only, <laughs> what? Only, you know, I'm going to write all these steps down. And when I upload these videos, they're going to be in there. I'm going to be like, okay, this is the only draft magic cards. No Yu-Gi-Oh step. Okay. Hold on. Got to keep all these. Kerwit. Bretty boy. <laughs> It's actually amazing. All right, let's see what they're going to get. Black Lotus. Oh, the rich get richer. Also, thank you guys so much. I really seriously appreciate you guys. You're all amazing. Sammy Kerwit and Brett, thank you guys. Okay. Only draft magic cards. No Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokio. I don't even know what Pokio is, but I assume... Oh, they just kill this guy. Well, we go to one, though, right? Like, that doesn't... This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's still ten. Yugimon. So now it makes more sense. You can't say one wrong and not the other wrong. You gotta say them both wrong. You got it. The problem is, like, we can't even Blightsteal because of Jitte. Because if we Blightsteal, they just give the Blightsteal negative two, negative two. And uh, then they take nine, and then we die in the next turn. So I don't know our, I don't know our way out of this, to be honest. I, you know, I don't think there is, I'm going to be honest with you. And that's okay. We're having a good time. See, I think I think a lot of times if I accept beforehand that my deck is not... Like, the Sultai deck we drafted yesterday, I really liked that deck. And I thought I had a lot of powerful cards. Um... But today, I feel like this deck didn't come together as much as we wanted it to. So. Okay, Kerwitz said what I meant was take cards that are only legal in Vintage. While that's doable, I think it is a little, it's, I think it's, again, it's a harder thing to keep track of. I think it's still most cards, right? It still doesn't, it's still most cards. You know, blink your dark confidant? Sure. This is all very weird. I don't actually think there's anything that can get us out of this, but like we're we're still gonna try. Does this do anything? <laughs> nah. If this went to the graveyard, it'd be great, because then we can go torrential gear hulk and flash it back right before death. Um we could take the stone coil and tinker. 
It doesn't do anything, though, is a problem. Just pretend like you know which cards are only legal and vintage. See, that's hilarious. We could actually do that. I could actually just troll the chat. <laughs> Fashionably late to the party, metal worker. God, Tinker gets Blightsteel into play. Is Yu-Gi-Oh! really a game that where you started at, at 4,000 life and now you start at 8,000? Did they really double it? That's an interesting That's an interesting choice. So this guy can block these. That's cool. I'm going to go to the next round. I, I don't feel like... Uh, I don't feel like this one's really... It's not really panning out for us. Just remember, Wild and the Cattle has been banned in like every format. It's true. 4,000 only in anime. What the... F what does that mean? Only in anime. <laughs> Are you playing anime, Yu-Gi-Oh? No? Okay, well, you, you gotta start at 8,000 then. Okay, cool. 4,000 was the show. Oh, in the show. Okay, so I thought an I thought when you said that, I thought anime was a different version of the game that you could play, like the anime version of the regular version. And I was like, that's real confusing. So in the show, you get 4,000, but in the game, they're like, give them 8,000. 4,000 ain't enough. The show uses completely effed up rules that are not at all reflective of the actual game. That's weird. See, they didn't do anything yet, so I kind of feel like we're way ahead right now. Man, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for the support and the and the ridiculous tips that I'm surely going to do, 100%. I see. Well then. Do you guys remember said I feel like we're in good shape? <laughs> it's gonna be one of those days, guys. It's gonna be one of those days. Mining some grilled cheeses took too long. Oh man, grilled cheese is banging. Mark, what kind of cheese do you use in your grilled cheese? Because I think the default cheese here is American cheese. So I, I kind of wonder, what is this for 15? You know, Emer you know you can't get an Emmerichle with this, right? We have fire, ice, and chain lightning, right? So like, Shut up and take my they're just dead. They just killed themselves. This is amazing. This is actually incredible. Okay, one more. Draft everything as if you are Ben Stiller recruiting. <laughs> does it does it does it matter that I haven't seen Mystery Men? I forgot it's green only. Got an Emmerichle in there. Check. <laughs> fire. Yeah, we're gonna fire you. And then we're gonna bolt you. That was a good game. We had a good, <laughs> we had a good game. Okay, let's be real, dude. American cheese is not great. It's it's actually not great at all. But on burgers and 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 grilled cheese, it's actually just fine. I think it's I think it's a I think it's a solid cheese for those two sandwiches. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so we know they have Emrakul. That's good. That's a thing we gotta deal with. We have no way to deal with that. We're just gonna hope that it doesn't happen again, I guess. Never liked cheese. <laughs> What's all that chocolate on your lips? 
Chocolate? That's a doo doo, baby. Hmm. Well, cheese does slap. You're right. I like that Mark spelled mozzarella the same way it it would it would sound in your head. Mark's like, I'm just gonna spell it how it sounds. Unless this is a variation on it, in which in in a in a, a Brazilian variation. No, okay, it's just mozzarella. Got it. Got it. Oh, actually, that might just be how it's spelled in Brazil. Actually, that would make total sense as well. So. Thank you. Oh, Danny with the resub. Jeez, Frank, how many of our babies have you carried of mine? Uh, three so far. Three. I have a lot of sub children. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're going to kill that. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. We got jokes. So we have a Gear Hulk and an Inkwell. So actually, Metalworker is not terrible. Oh, they're going to natural lure here. Oh, they're just harmonizing? That actually makes me feel just fine. Oh my god, it's getting better. Okay, this is this is it. So this is six mana, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they're gonna play Oracle of Moldiah. We're gonna chain lightning it. Oh god. Well, this could be fine. I think the defining factor is that it's called a cheese product. <laughs> American cheese, processed cheese product. And you're like, oh, that doesn't sound like cheese. Green Sun for seven. It's going to be Avenger? Don't like that. They have one card, though. It was an Avenger. Did they hold one land in hand? Because that would have been That would have been legit. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think it changes anything. One, two, three, four, five, six. God, if this is a lightning bolt instead of a chain lightning, it would be a significantly different game. We could gear hulk, then chain lightning the, the Avenger. I subscribe. Not sure why it didn't pop up. Lance, thank you, buddy. I appreciate your support, man. I hope you're doing wonderfully. I mean, we could also just inkwell and hope to hit them twice. Well, either way, we're revealing three. One, two, three. So six mana, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven if we play inkwell. So this is seven, eight, nine. Back here in the Utah. <laughs> All right, Lance. I'll see you later, buddy. All right. Take it easy. We could commit, and then we could Torrential Gear Hulk. That doesn't... I mean, because then we... Got to go for now, but no need to do silly stip draft. Just draft fun cards and don't draft non-fun. Brett, I love you, buddy. Hopefully, I'll see you a little bit later. It's got to be Stinkwell, but, like, there's nothing else we can do. Six, seven, eight, nine. Play this guy. I'm trying to read chat, too, so I'm sorry this is taking a little bit. Um, I mean, if they hit a land... If they don't hit a land, this guy's terrible, right? So we might have a turn. Holding up, no, we can't hold up Gear Hulk because we don't have the mana unless we, like, and that, that doesn't do anything. I'm not worried about, I'm not worried about a spell they play. I'm worried about them having Avenger of Zendikar on the board. So, we're just going to play Leviathan here. Play, play Academy, I guess. Um, yeah, we want to keep the Bolt in hand because this is 14 plus 3. 
No, I'm not going to make it 2-2 two, two Snake. It's significantly better in hand with Metalworker, especially when we have Torrential Gear Hulk. It does block one plant. I guess that's not terrible. It does add one mana. So we'd have, what, three, four, five, six, seven? As opposed to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're definitely playing this. The problem is once they once they have a three three, that's just significantly worse. I mean, we're just hoping they don't hit a land. If they had a land, they would have played it. So we take eight. We take seven, I guess, because we block one. And they're not going to attack with Avenger. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. Thank you. Draw with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I see. Well, that is something. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're just gonna one. So we can actually go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that doesn't do exactly what we want to do. Sure, that dude's got trample. That's also a plant, so this actually gets counters with Avenger. I think since they gave us the opportunity, we're definitely going to um we're gonna tuck the Avenger here. So they draw. Um Overpaid, but that's fine. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yep, that'll do. Oh, but now they don't get the Avenger back, I guess, so that's pretty good. Well, that does block an ink well. Quite well. Quite well. Oh boy. That's a thing. How much mana is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can make a nine nine. Trample and shroud. Well, it's a lot harder to swing with Inkwell now that they have a Progenitus in play. I think it's important to get the 9-9 nine -nine here. Because now they both have Trample, so I feel like that's pretty good, but they're also going to play... Oh, no, they don't get Avenger because they shuffled. So that's good. <laughs> I have protection from you, you have protection from me. It's all it's all a whole thing. Yep. All right. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is all very interesting. Okay. 
So this is three, four, five, six. We can Torrential Gear Hulk if they have like a sneaky spell. Oh, wow, they didn't block with the other guy? Oh, that's going to be their death. See, we technically should have attacked with this, but we didn't know what they had. So I want to say good games because I feel like they might say good games, but they did not. They did not good games us. Either way. So, I mean, if they just blocked with Avacyn's Pilgrim, I think we would have lost. But I was playing I was playing to keep up Torrential Gear Hulk because if we if we attack with Metalworker we don't get to do that. So it's kind of I guess it's a green deck, so our odds of like their odds of having an instant is a lot lower than their odds of like The problem is we can't gear hulk a blocker and tra and chain lightning. That was the whole reason we didn't do that because we don't have the mana. We have exactly six. We have one mountain, two mana from revealing with metal workers. That's three, and then uh, Talarian Academy makes three. We have exactly enough to play either gear hulk into commit or chain lightning. So. All right, well. I'm going to keep this. Blightsteel is the only the only questionable card here, and it's not that questionable if we get like a... Did you get to that the optimal play would have been to attack with the Metal Worker? <laughs> yeah. I haven't... I hadn't, but I, I'll probably talk it through once I consider it. Okay, I like a red here. Oh, I got my little library of Alexandria. I'm gonna draw a bunch of cards against you. Oh boy. My head's gonna be overflowing with all the cards I draw. Ooh, I don't have one drop, so I'll have to discard a card, and then I'll have to draw again during your turn. Oh, I'm just going to play a, a, a Kite Sail Freebooter. That's actually pretty good. We don't have a ton of ways to get rid of that guy. I think we have, like, Chain Lightning and uh, Fire Ice. I guess we could bounce it with... Uh, with Riftwing. Are you coming down? Is this your turn? Next turn? Dang. Alright. Well, we've drawn nothing but lands. Literally. Literally nothing but lands. So that's cool.
<laughs> Gotta get that Blightsteel mana. You know, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I bet you wish you had that Porsche with four flat tires right now. <sighs> you know, you're not wrong. Nobody's wrong in the chat right now, apparently. It's a momentous occasion. On the bright side, I mean, on, on, conversely, I'd rather just have fact or fiction. Because that seems better to me, but... Okay. Boy, they're just not playing anything and they just keep discarding stuff. It's pretty wild. I guess they're going to bring Iona back. Have your stupid little free booty. Don't be a land. A mere battle sphere. I mean, they're going to, I know they're going to, we're, we're, we all know they're going to reanimate this Iona, right? So. Night of nights. No more. <laughs> oh, what up, Chris? That is a mere battle sphere. Appreciate it, my dude. Oh, what heights will... What, what were animated spell you think they got? Oh, I want to draw a card here. Oh, I drew the card. Uh, okay. Resolves. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Do, 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 do. Okay. I think we'll choose this pile. If we take the other pile, they just take sneak attack, leaving us with these two. At least this way, we have Karn, which is an answer to Iona, and if they take the Karn, we get Thirst for Knowledge to be able to disc discard Blightsteel, which is just fine. Unless, of course, they take Karn and then choose blue with Iona. And then, less ideal. Sounds good. They did, they did that. That's what they did. That's wild through the breach sounds good it was not a through the breach just dropping by to say you're an amazing dude and keep keep up your good streaming and i hope you're having a austin you are a, a, a wholesome gentleman and i appreciate you buddy and i hope you are also having a wonderful day Uh, it is not crazy to board in some burn. I mean, the only thing we have is, like, Banefire, right? Yeah, this is, like, this is the only thing we have that we're, we're not playing. Maybe we can just take seven here. It might be interesting to board in, um... To board in this. Because if they go to reanimate something, we can just take it. I kind of like that. Does it say switch target? No, you're you're copying you're copying the spell. So we would copy reanimate. It would put Iona onto the battlefield. 
and their reanimate would not work because there would no longer be a legal target. So yeah, it says, it says copy. She old red. Oh, oh, oh. Can't, we can't cast that, just to be clear. Shut up and take my money. Oh, mono black spooky. <laughs> this is, I mean, you know what? That's, that's okay, I guess. We could, I'm just attacking here. Like, if they want to attack for eight, that's fine. I, I, you know, whatever. They're going to five and we have Mirror Battle Sphere on the board? Sure, sure. They're probably just going to kill us here. I'm, I'm under no illusions that they don't have what they need. Yeah, cool. Sounds good. Must be nice. No more Let's take out Young Pyromancer. That guy seems like a liability. Let's take out Spellseeker. I don't even think Spellseeker... I don't even care about that. For example, Kite Sail Freebooter is not really spooky, so it's a no-no. <laughs> okay, Mono Black Spooky cards. Got it. Got it. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to bring in Banefire. Oh, boy. Don't love it. I like it less, but I'm going to keep it. Every game. Seems good. I have equally uh, as many soul rings as they have Library of Alexandria's. For some reason, I just don't draw them as, as frequently. For some reason. I, don't know, I couldn't tell you why. Don't worry, OP will put the exact same game. Well, so far, literally the exact same game. Library into Black Cleave Cliffs. So, yes, that is correct. Into no play, discard a card. Discard a, a, a big cre... Is, is, it, is it raining outside? Wait, what happened? They discarded an Emrakul, and now it's gone? Okay, well, that's weird, but... Is it... I can't believe it's raining. I had no idea. On with the show, this is it. You got it. Still nothing to do here. We have a lot of early cards. Just not in our hand. Oh, it's raining. I can't get over. I know this sounds weird, but I just had it, it was it was sunny as hell earlier, and it was super nice out. And now it's like really coming down, and I just didn't expect it. From Colorado is really throwing me for a loop here. So every time I'm going to Factor Fiction, you're going to play this guy. Sounds good. I mean, this this hand is, this is very, this is good. This is a good selection of. It also doesn't say it's raining, which is interesting. On with the show, this is it. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the top, the top pile here. Like, if we take through the breach, they just take through the breach, right? So we take the four cards and then. 
Oh, okay. It's still taking the top pile. Also, if we get uh, Torrential Gear Hulk, we can flash back through the breach. Here we go. Here we go again. Cool. Well, we had a good run. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash Be sure to follow or subscribe if you want to support the content that you watch every day for free. Be sure to support the channel in some way, shape, or form. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.